Welcome everyone. In this video I just quickly want to talk about three different kind of ADS1256 boards. So you can see it on the screen now. I lined up uh, three different uh, kinds of boards. Uh, one, this guy is already soldered to a STM32 microcontroller. I've been already using this for a while. And also, I did most of my previous videos using this board here. But uh, recently I got this new one. I haven't yet uh, tested it, but uh, among these three boards, this is the most expensive. And as you can see, it comes with two different connections. So with these jumper pins, uh, you have to put them here. So these are to the microcontroller. So for example, to a STM or an Arduino or Raspberry Pi, whatever you use. And then these nice sturdy uh, plastic uh, connectors are for the input pins. So as you can see that uh, this new board uh, comes with plastic stands. So it's, it's more easy to put them somewhere. And also the circuit board looks a bit more smoother than the others. So this is very well designed and uh, very well made. But I haven't yet tested it, so I have to see how the electronics hold up. For example, how stable is the reference voltage and so on and so on. But uh, what I want to show you here is that uh, we have these three boards now and uh, just uh, compare them. So as you can see, the size or the area is basically the same. They just have a different shape factor. So if you just uh, put them together, it, it's almost the same. But if I have to consider which one is the smallest, then maybe this uh, blue guy here. And then uh, this is the second and this is the third but uh, they have basically the same uh, size. So that doesn't really change anything. Uh, Price-wise, this at, at the moment when I make this video, this is the cheapest one. I will put a link in the description, but this should be around 16, 17 dollars, US dollars, depending on where you buy it. But uh, you can usually obtain it from some Chinese websites and uh, yeah, it should be around uh, 16 to 17, 18 dollars. And then this is a bit more expensive. Uh, this should be around uh, 19 to 21 dollars, depending on the vendor. And this is the most expensive. So this is around uh, 24 to 26 dollars, depending on where you buy it. But uh, one thing is that these come with the pre-soldered pins, so you cannot really uh, customize it easily. And this comes with the separate pins, and that's not everything, but uh, this guy here comes in a box. So, I mean, the manufacturer really uh, does a good job. So it comes with a box, and also these two are packed in a small plastic bag and of course placed here so everything came like this in a very nice uh, box and this is very important if you get these things transferred to you from China because yeah they have to take a lot of uh, stress during the transportation and this is very uh, safe so actually even though you are paying more for the product, partially you are paying for the packaging as well. And for me, it would worth that uh, extra $5, let's say, uh, to pay for a more safe packaging. Because it happened to me that uh, when one of these guys came to me, actually, I think it was this board, uh, all the legs were bent and I had to straighten them. And that's just not good. So uh, because of the poor packaging, 
you can get your board damaged and then you cannot use it so you wasted a lot of money and time of course by waiting for the board but this uh, guy here comes in a very nice uh, packaging and also the board looks very clean and it's very nice so even this is very nice board but uh, uh, this looks even better and uh, yeah it's just nicer in a lot of aspects at least for me and uh, these optional connections are also very good because as you can see it here uh, these pins are inside the are in the board and then i had to struggle with these wires so i soldered the wires on these type of pins here and that was a bit of a struggle uh, sometimes i had some problems with the soldering tin and uh, the wire just did not want to uh, stick to the jumper pin but uh, i sold it solved it so now it works but here you can actually put the wire through the uh, through the board. So if you just uh, take a wire, and then it's very easy. You can solder it uh, nicely, and uh, there should not be a problem. Or you can just optionally take this and uh, take some wires which already have uh, the jumper connections, and uh, you can just uh, connect it to the board so for example this goes inside this and then this part can go to your microcontroller if it has a uh, jumper ending and then also the other side uh, for the inputs here they are also very nice because you can buy uh, these co connectors everywhere and then uh, you can like expose this part of the board for example if you put it in a box or some sort of enclosure then you can expose this part and then just plug it in everything or you can uh, get the wires and solder them inside and then uh, lead the wires somewhere outside for example to a banana plug or a jack plug or whatever you will use in your project so I will wire up this in another video and uh, I will also use it with an STM microcontroller because now I have a bunch of this and I want to practice with this uh, board. So I will have this and actually I will use a very nice uh, metal box and everything. So I will make a nice uh, product of this. So. I will use banana plugs for the inputs and I will use this board here with an STM32 microcontroller and and basically that's all. So so yes. So if you want to buy these boards if you want to go cheap then I suggest this. Sometimes you will face uh, out of stock uh, messages because yeah, I guess they are not available every time everywhere But uh, usually you can buy these very easily So this is the cheap option and it's very good uh, Actually if I compare these two guys Then this is a bit better if I measure the voltages for some reason this provides uh, much more precise uh, output than than this guy uh, if i compare it to a multimeter or if i compare it to another uh, voltmeters and then i haven't yet tried this but a preliminary i can say that if you can go to a more expensive option because that is almost like eight dollars between these two boards this is more expensive so if you can go if you can go for a more expensive option then yeah just go for this because mainly because of the optional connectors and then also because you have them transported in a nice box and then you can keep the box for some other projects 
or you can just uh, make sure that uh, your package will reach you in safety because it's packed uh, nicely. So yeah, I will test this and I will come back to you with the results. So I hope that this small summary was useful in some way if you want to decide between these boards and uh, I hope you learned something from this. So now nothing technical that we will talk about, that's all. And uh, in the next video I will show you this when, uh, when I wire up everything and I have everything arranged. So see you in the next video.